In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make my main character uh, controlled by arrow keys to make it kind of like joystick controlled. So first, I'm going to add a new object, a text object, and I'm going to use my emoji keyboard. And there's a lot of different um, objects, different things you can put with an emoji keyboard. I am going to choose the up arrow as a text object. And then you could do the same thing again, making the down arrow. And you can use all the different arrows that you would like for this. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to move my down arrow to where I want it. If you want to be precise, you can make it like 950 um, as how far it is across. And I'll do the same thing with this one. And then I'm going to move it up to about 180 by 950. And they'll line up. So when I hit play, I can see where my arrow keys are. If I would like to make them larger, you can um, use the grow by. When play button is tapped, grow by 50% if you'd like to do something like that. So you can make them larger buttons. Then you'd have to move them apart a little bit from where I have them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them so that they actually control the monkey character that I have there. So I'm going to start a new script. And I'm going to say, when up is tapped, then I'm going to set value type in up to 50. We'll make it go up 50. And then I'm going to go set value up. And you can just drag it in there once you have it to 0. So what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to program my monkey character. Change y distance because it's going to go up or down. Change Y distance. And then we can drag in the up arrow. OK? And we want to repeat this. We want to make it a loop. So it, it'll continually do that function. So let's put the loop on there and repeat 99999 times. All right, so let's go ahead and try the up arrow now. I hit play. And now if I move the up arrow, it's going to go 50 spaces. The down key doesn't work yet, so let's program the down key. It's going to be the same thing here that we did with the up key, where we put set value. Oops. When down arrow is tapped, we're going to set value to 50. And then we're also going to set value of down to 0 as well. Now we're going to go back to the monkey. And then we're going to put, uh, when play button is tapped, we're going to repeat this function, change y distance by the down arrow, 99999. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and try this out. So the up arrow goes up, the down arrow goes up. So we need to figure that out. The problem was negative 50. That is my problem. Let's try it again. Up goes up, down goes negative 50. OK, perfect, because up and down was going up 50. So now I can get my character to go up and down. What I need to do next, then, is program the left and right arrows. But you do it much the same. 